Hello ADP sisters, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to show you how to do some stage makeup. Now, I'm not a professional makeup artist, but these are just some general ideas of what I wanna see in your stage makeup this year at ADP. Okay, first things first, I have a clean face, I've moisturized, and I'm ready to put on my foundation. We want to start out with a solid foundation to create a clean canvas for all of our makeup. Now I'm going to use a tinted moisturizer and a little bit of a foundation, a thicker th foundation, and then some concealer. Now that my foundation and concealer are done, I'm gonna come in with a pressed powder and just seal it all in. I have my company makeup kit here. I'm going to open it up and get out the blush and use this for my cheek color. Cheeks are really important and I always feel like everyone needs to add a little bit more color on their cheeks. Now you want to add more than you do on the daily because we really want to see your cheeks on the stage. I know those cheeks are pretty intense, but this is what I want to see up there on the stage. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Now, it doesn't really matter what order you do these things, but this is just the order that I like to do my makeup. Today, I'm going to use Anastasia Brow Pomade. Um, this color is medium brown, and it is a little bit darker than I would usually wear, but that is good for the stage. Your eyebrows need to be dark, your cheeks need to be dark, everything needs to be exaggerated. When I see you, I should go, whoa! Makeup looks intense, but I like it, okay? All right, now my eyebrows are done, and you can see it really frames out the face. Eyebrows are super important because they are the gateway to the soul. When the dancer is up there on stage, if their eyebrows are not filled in, then you really can't see their facial expressions, things like that, and we really want to feel those emotions that the dancers are trying to portray. So don't forget your brows. Now you don't have to use Anastasia brow gel, you can use a pencil, whatever you like. Um, this is just what I have right now. Next step is eyeshadow. I have my company makeup eyeshadow palette here with three colors and then a separate color, pink. Before we start the eyeshadow, I think it's a really good idea to use a primer, especially because they're going to be wearing this makeup for a long time, all day, through competition, and they're gonna be sweating and, you know, changing their costumes, and it's just a whole to-do. So, I really think it's a good idea to use an eyeshadow primer. Now we're gonna start with this neutral color in the middle, creates a nice base for our eyeshadow. I'm just gonna take this color and go from lash to brow. You just wanna cover the whole lid. Next, I'm gonna come in with the pink color. Now with this pink, I'm gonna cover the outside of just the lid. You can go up into the crease a little bit but you don't want to take it into the inner part of the eye. Just want to take it on that outer corner of the lid. I mean, it can go past center, but you just don't want it in the inner corner. We're going to use our highlight there. Now we're going to go back to our palette. And we're going to use this dark color here in the corner. Now this is how we're going to cut our crease. I'm just taking a small brush. I'm just gonna take it right into the crease of my eye. Now everybody has a little bit different shape of eye. And then I'm gonna take it down onto the outer corner of the eyelid. So we're creating a smoky eye effect. Now everybody has different shaped eyes. So you can do this however it looks best for you. However, you just don't wanna go outside of the line um, that you can create by holding your brush up like this from eyebrow to the corner of your lid, your corner of your eye ball. 
Now again, you always want to apply a little bit more than you normally would because you're going to be sweating, the dancers will be sweating, and um, changing their costumes, all sorts of shenanigans, and you don't want to have to reapply midday because no one's got time for that. Now, it kind of looks a little crazy, so I'm going to come in and just blend it out. Last step for eyeshadow, I'm going to use this highlight color to my brush and put it in the inner corner of my eye. This helps our eyes look really open up there on the stage. And I'm also going to brush it under my brow. Now remember, your brows and your eyes are sisters, not twins. So don't worry about making everything symmetrical and everything perfect. We're just doing our very best. Now while I'm highlighting, I'm going to take my blush brush and I'm going to grab some of this pink eyeshadow color. I'm just going to highlight on my cheekbone and then I'm just going to grab a little bit of this highlight eyeshadow and brush up there so our cheekbones look so good up there on the stage, okay? This step is optional, but I like it. Now that our eyeshadow is complete, we are going to just put on a little bit of eyeliner. Now, I like to use a pencil, but if you like to use liquid liner or whatever, you can. I just like pencils. When lining the eye, it doesn't have to be thick. We're just adding a little bit of extra definition around the lashes. And it's also really helpful for when you put on the false eyelashes. If you don't get them right into the crease of the eyelid, then you won't be able to see it because the liner fills it in. So I suggest lining the whole upper part of the eye and then the outer corner of the lower lash. Just very subtle, not too intense. Just gives us a little extra definition. Now we're going to move on to eyelashes. We have two eyelashes available at the studio. Bam! These are for big girl eyes and these are for little girl eyes. I have big girl eyes, so I'm going to use this kind. Um, but you don't have to use these. You can find some at your grocery store, whatever. But we do have these available at the studio for you. Here's a little tip about eyelashes. Now, before you glue the eyelashes on, you can hold them up to your child's eye and just make sure that they're the right length. If they're too long, you should cut them. I would cut the inner part, just cut them a little bit shorter so that they fit along your child's eye. Because nothing is worse than having an eyelash poke you in the eye during mid dance and you just can't even focus on your forte turns because that dang eyelash is in your eyeball. Boom, baby! Here I am. Don't you love these lashes? I look so fabulous. I think I'm gonna wear these on the daily. Check me out. All right, we only have two more steps. After you do your eyelashes, I like to use some mascara to kind of blend my natural lashes with the false eyelashes. Just a couple swipes. And then it's also important that you use mascara on your lower lashes. Ew. Quick tip about false eyelashes. After you apply the glue to the lash, if you just wait about 10-15 seconds, the glue will become tacky and then it sticks to the eye better. Now, I just want everybody to know that I have been using this makeup, the eyeshadow, everything, blush, and the lipstick, and I've tested it out for you, and it is good. I really like it, so hopefully you do too. This is a long wear lip color, and it's really awesome. I wore it the other day, and it lasted for about four hours. Now, obviously, with everything going on, you might have to reapply, but I really like this color, and Bam, we are done. Now, you can stop now or you can use a finishing spray. I like to use a finishing spray. This is Urban Decay, I just got it at Sephora. It lasts a really long time. I just like to take it. Just seals in that makeup. I hope you enjoyed my makeup tutorial. Catch me every day rocking this look because I look fabulous. I'll see you on the stage, sisters. Zoom, 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 zoom.